So this is how you can remote iPhone to iPhone. Let's get started. So there is a feature called remote device management and it can be added or it can be found directly inside of the control center. So whenever you swipe down to access it, you can scroll or try to find it in here. But if you cannot find it, hold down on the toggles right here until they enter the edit mode. And then at the bottom, you have a button to add another control. So tap on this and you essentially just want to scroll through them or you can look up a device uh, control nearby devices. This is the official name of the feature and you can add it into the control center. Now, whenever you tap on it, it will try to find some other people's devices, right? So if you have a nearby phone, it will try to find it in there. If you have an iPad in here, it will also try to look it up. And using this feature, you can essentially control or remotely connect them and have the ability to press the home button from one iPhone on the other, you know, like to return the to the home screen to swipe up on, you know, the, the, the bar at the bottom. Or you also can access the app switcher, notification center, control center, Siri, or even there is the music playback. So play, pause, and all the good stuff regarding a music player. So that's one of the ways how you can remote them together, meaning that you essentially just connect one iPhone from the other. But there are naturally more ways like connecting them through iCloud and synchronization and having the same account and stuff like this. So we can go in depth if you want to. Just go ahead and leave a comment below saying whichever issue you are currently facing. But that's going to be about it from me right now. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more and I'm going to catch you in the next tutorial.